What's going on, collective? It is your girl, Jenny Quinn 8, and I am back with another reading for you guys. If no one told you guys today, I love you, and I know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do. So let's tap in, collectives. Let's see what's going on with you. Let's see how you do it. What's your mind like? Archangel Michael in the leg walk, please protect me as I channel this energy for the collectives. You know what I just heard? <laughs> Do you know what I just heard, collectives? A closed mouth don't get fed. Very specific for somebody. All right? I don't know how that's going to apply to you, but I heard clearly <laughs> a closed mouth don't get fed. So maybe it's something that you want. That you need to go after or that you need to ask for. For some of you guys, you need to be at be, being more specific. <laughs> That's what I got too in your prayer. Y'all need to be more specific because your ancestors is ready to provide. God is ready to provide. But you need to be clear on your intentions and be, be direct and be specific. All right, I heard a closed mouth don't get fed, literally. So if you guys are always complaining about a raise, but you not doing nothing or you not asking for that raise, okay, a closed mouth don't get fed. If you are interested in a person romantically and you got a crush and you fearful of rejection, honey, closed mouth don't get fed. What if you don't get rejected? And it's just an energy like that. That's just a couple of examples of what I got from a closed mouth. Don't get fed. You got to go after what you want. You can't let nobody. You can't just wait. Thank you, spirit, to somebody offer you an opportunity. You just got to take the opportunity. All right. And opportunities and being fearless and being successful comes with learning how to cope with rejection. That's it. And once you learn to not be scared of somebody turning you down or saying no or they're not interested in you, okay, then you you good. You good. You fearless because you're not afraid. The answer is just going to be yes or no, right? But that, that comes easier said than done. That comes with a lot of confidence, a lot of confidence. All right. So, Spirit, what does the collective need to know? Especially about this closed mouth, don't get fed. Oh. So, all right. So, Iku comes to bring endings. All right. Um, there's an ending happening. In your life. Let me get another card. All right. The village. All right. So off the bed. A closed mouth. Don't get fed. When it comes to. Needing protection. All right. Honey. There's a village. <laughs> or or, or y'all could have asked for protection, right? But there's a village here. This is a tower card. All right. And there is a lot of people, multiple people, multiple families is what I just heard. Suffering. Major endings. And losses and going through Christ, a, a, a crisis. All right, this could be a whole community of people that are receiving bad luck or or karma or um, just a lot of destruction in their life, a lot of downfalls, hitting rock bottom. All right, and this is who's bringing it. 
All right, y'all got an ancestor. This is like the Grim Reaper. This is like the death card. All right, this is the death card. So there's a lot of endings. Like I said, when it comes to a village of motherfuckers. And when I tell you it is storms, it is storms. It's looking like this whole community just has bad luck or has bad breaks or a lot of failures or closed doors. Closed mouth don't get fed. Some of you guys heightened your protection. <laughs> Some of you guys heightened your protection. All right. Y'all started to realize a closed mouth don't get fed. And spirit said, when you ask, you shall receive. All right. I'm getting you guys came to some sort of awareness that you are entitled to ask your spirit guides to function up. You are entitled to call on your spirit guides in a form of defense when you're feeling like you are being attacked. And you need something to be completely handled. All right? And I need y'all to know that when you are praying for protection, you got to be very specific. All right? Because these are your ancestors. And it is no time for you to be soft. Because y'all got some ancestors that is red is on time and ready. They like, well, closed mouth, don't get fed. I'm ready to take a nigga head off. <laughs> I'm ready to put it somewhere. All right. I'm ready to cause havoc and, and shit. Okay. And I think y'all got the urge or in, intuitive download to stop being afraid when it comes to asking your ancestors for certain things. Ex Especially when it comes to protection. I'm also, I just also heard, damn, all gloves are off. All bets are off. So it's like anything goes now. So wow, wait, 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 spirit, wait, wait, wait. So what I'm getting is that. Something was going on involving a spiritual attack and spiritual warfare. All right. You was you was engaging in spiritual warfare. The village. And you started to realize if I don't act specifically and be direct and very specific on what kind, very specific. What kind of protection is needed? And then your spirit guides can judge and see if that's the right protocol to follow. Bitch, I feel like y'all asked for something. <laughs> and it happened when it came to protecting you. And I feel like it happened... In such a destructive way that not only one or two or three people have and is receiving the aftermath of some sort of summoning of protection from your ancestors, but bitch, a whole motherfucking village, a community of motherfuckers. And that I feel like your ancestors. It's happy. It's like it's like they in a fucking playground because you gotta remember we got free will. And again, I think that that goes over a lot of people's head because in spirituality, you have free will. You have free will to ask your ancestors for certain things, and you you have free will to don't do it. All right. So I feel like something came over you where you knew. That it was okay for you to do what you did, whatever you did, whether it was a ritual, spell work, just a prayer, whatever, whatever. It could have been a numerous of things. All right. You probably was feeling guilty when it comes to protecting yourself and how you wanted to go about it. <laughs> Bitch, I don't know what the fuck you was thinking. All right. But whatever you was thinking, you probably was like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> but spirit is saying, 
No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that song about Beyonce? All right. I mean, Destiny Child. I'm getting, your ear says, your ear says I'm saying, no, no, no. You asking for too light. You not even asking for enough. You got ancestors that is, that is wrecking shit right now or on your behalf. All right. And when I say wrecking shit, this is a death card in a tower. It is nothing but endings and destructions and crisis and poverty and lack that a whole village and a community of people is suffering from because you started to realize a closed mouth don't get fed. A lot of shit now got to be very specific, straight to the point, direct. So that way your ancestors can understand what the fuck is going on. They don't need to be trying to fucking dibble and dab and be confused. They need to know what is up so that way they can know what... Thank you, spirit. They needed to know how you felt. All right? Woo. All right. I'm, I, ah, I love when spirit channel. Ah, all right? So... It wasn't the fact that you wasn't going to get justice. You was already going to get justice with the cool on your side. Your ancestors was waiting for you to stop covering people's ass or feeling guilty of the severity that karma is doing to them. So spirit is like, closed mouth, don't get fed. We know how you feel about a certain situation. We know what the fuck you've been thinking about. We know you want to do these people dirty. But you can't do it your way. We got to do it our way. And we can't do it our way. Until. You give us the green light. And baby when I tell you. This was the happiest motherfucking day. In your ancestors life for you to say. I feel like I've been violated. Simple as that. They just needed to know that your energy was violated. That's it. Once they even knew that that's how you feel, felt, they will then take the proper precautions to handle a situation. And right now, you see what you see what is given. It is given. Do don't ever, ever, ever. Play with the collectives again. Never. And it was not only one, two, or three messages sent out to people. It was a couple of motherfucking messages sent out to people in regards of you not being played with. Period. You asked and you received finally. Because you finally spoke on and had... Had a one-on-one -on -one with God or whoever it is that you pray to. And you spoke about your feelings. Instead of being strong, right? Because I feel like, damn, Spirit talking to y'all. I feel like y'all are strong, right? Of course, look who behind y'all. He cool. All right? So, you can even be a Scorpio. Okay. Or you just comfortable. Or have been comfortable with the process of ending things to make room for new beginnings. Like, it was a, it was a process for you to understand that. And because you wanted to prove to God so bad that you can handle it and that you are a fighter and that you are a warrior, you never discussed with God the severity of your emotions that you had with a situation. You never really told God how you felt because you were so worried about saving the image of the other person or the other thing. So I feel like you just let it all out. Because again, your spirit gods, your guardian angels cannot. Remember, there's laws that is followed in a spiritual. And there's laws that must be followed in a physical. As above, so below. So don't think your angels and your spirit gods don't have rules to follow. And when you voiced or expressed your emotions and your feelings towards 
a certain thing or a person when you really was honest and really removed the thought of you know worrying about the image and you just expressed you instead of somebody else you focused on you 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 valued your feelings you valued your emotions at that time when you had a discussion with God and God went to work your ancestors went to work all right and when I say whatever you felt was valid for your ancestors to cause destruction and endings and people's lives like this oh yeah they violated they violated multiple times and you were trying to save them because you knew how your ancestors get. You might know that you're very gifted with magic. So you might know, you know, you don't play with the codes, you know, of magic and shit. But baby, you was all right for wanting to do what you was going to do. Because if you don't protect yourself wholeheartedly, who the fuck will? And if you giving your power away. To any outside force other than your spirit guides and God to protect you, there's a problem. All right, so yeah. You was aware that a closed mouth don't get fed. You was tired of the bullshit. You was tired of you was tired of people gang stalking you or just ganging up on you. All right. Always like more more against one type of energy and you said what the hell with that all right you called up on the most the the, the the ancestor that's gonna get shit done that's like off with your head i'm hearing i'm hearing because you've expressed how you honestly feel about a certain situation and how it hurts you and you finally i'm just getting you finally let let it out like you had a one-on-one -on -one with god all right like i feel like one night you just couldn't hold it no more and you was tired of saving people from being looked at negative but you was getting torn down and you just you just broke down and you spoke you might not have even known you were speaking to God you probably just thought you were speaking to the ear whole time yet it was a group of ancestors around you listening and 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 getting fucking fired up after every teardrop child Child. You got tired. It was like I'm just getting the energy of I'm not taking this shit no more. I'ma go there. Like I'm getting the energy like moving forward, take it there. Like I always tell y'all, do not allow anybody to disrespect you. Once you let that slide, all right, you give room and you open up that door to disrespect. All right, there's no room to be tolerating stupidity and disrespect this season and moving forward. All right, I need you to understand the powerful ancestors that's wrecking shit right now. You got that same power. All right, I need you to be talking and walking like that. All right, it's no time to be humble this season. We was humble last year. All right, it's no time. All right, we showing up and showing out. All right, we making sure our enemies see our rewards and our success because it's owed to us. So this is an energy where you are no longer saving people, saving people. You you no longer saving people, and I don't know how that's gonna resonate with you, but you no longer saving people. You allowing towers to move for, and you you're you're stopping from getting in the way of other people's karma. That's what you was doing. You kept trying to save people, going through shit, because you are an empath. You love people. All right, that's just you, and that's not a curse. That is a gift. But you gotta be wise. On who you choose to help in situations. Because remember law. Spiritual laws. You don't know if your heart is telling you one thing. Right? And you and you help that person. 
And little do you know, you just got into the middle of this person's karma by helping them. So sometimes you got to use discernment and mind your fucking business. Because it's not about you. It's about if you help them, they are not going to learn a lesson. You're just going to enable them to keep doing something unknowingly. You might not even notice, but that's going to happen. So right now, you like, no, I can't help you. I'm not coming outside to fight with you. All right, don't call me no three-way. Don't involve me in that caddy, amateur bullshit. All right, and you and you working with your guys. You working with whatever you working with. And I'm going to leave it like that. All right? You are cocky with it, too. You're not playing no more. I feel like you are done with motherfuckers trying to play you. And the wrath that they're feeling... Based off of one wrong action or judgment towards somebody. Okay. Spirit, give me more on this energy, please. All right, the outcast. All right, it's all right to be the outcast. All right, but look, you out and you you the outcast, but you good. You on an island somewhere. All right, you vacationing somewhere. All right, you dancing to the beat of your own drum somewhere by your motherfucking self. <laughs> okay, these people wanted you to. They treated you like the outcast. All right. They treated you like your energy wasn't nothing, baby. They treated you like they didn't even value anything coming from you. No ideas, no conversations, no help. They made you feel like nothing mattered. All right. When you gave from the fucking heart. So, so spirit, it was spirit was saying again, a closed mouth does not get fed. You want to be out here in the streets, making people think that you're the outcast. And whole time you got a gang of motherfucking ancestors that's ready to go to war. They embarrassed by that. All right. They like, I know my person. It is not out in these streets. Feeling alone or making people make them feel like they some sort of outcast. And they got a whole line of people that's about to destroy shit. That was embarrassing them for you not to call up on them and destroy shit. I'm telling you, your ins these ancestors, I don't think you know. Like, they've been through shit. They've been through slavery. So, you think that they was all love and light? <laughs> Nigga, they have to find a light. <laughs> you hear me? So, you've been doing a lot of shit on your own. You've been going up against a lot of people on your own. You was taking this world by storm on your own. All right? And you was finding comfort in solitude. I honestly feel like y'all dancing. Y'all not, y'all not sad, but spirit is saying, when it comes to respect, we not gonna have that over here. We not gonna have that in our bloodline. All right? I don't know about those people, but you are not an outcast. You might have got comfortable with that, okay, but Iku is saying you are not an outcast. I don't know what the fuck you dancing for. <laughs> like, your spirit, guys, is a little triggered, <laughs> okay? Your, your spirit, look at Iku. I, Iku done came. He is looking at you like you fucking stupid <laughs> because you over here sitting, dancing in life. You, yo, you letting bygones be bygones. You letting people slide with shit because you feel like it is your spiritual path to be love and light. And E. Cool or one of your spirit guides, it's like if you do not fucking stop and call on us, we see what's going on. We see what they doing. Bitch, stop dancing. <laughs> it's cool to dance, but, but, but you not no outcast. And they was fiending to show these people. Your ancestors was fiending. To show these people how much of an outcast you was. And this was the result. 
All right. Does this look like a motherfucking outcast to you? All right. Does this look like an outcast to you? Or does this look like a motherfucker that mind their business, but is nothing to play with? Okay, you choose. It's all about perspective and we always have choices. But that be the wrong choice to get a motherfucker and a whole tribe and a whole family fucked up. Because you're not picking your battles wisely. All right. You're trying to pick one an outcast, somebody that looks quiet. Somebody that looks like they, they don't defend themselves the whole time. They will rip you the motherfucking shreds. You hear me? You hear me? Literally. A ticket on your head is what I'm hearing. Like, your ancestors is ready. <laughs> okay, literally. That's what I see. That's what I see. Your ancestors are like, I can't believe this person don't care. Like, you, you needed to care. You needed to re reprogram. People conditioned you to be all this love and light. And you're supposed to let bygones be bygones. And take the higher road and forgive. No. Baby, it don't go like that. Alright? It do not go like that. That shit is a process and it's levels to that. Alright? You got to uncondition that way of thinking. And no, you got to protect yourself. Alright? You was already doing it alone. So why not add a little bit more spice and add your fucking ancestors come in and tear shit up like they doing? All right, these people don't want no drama and these people damn sure don't want no war. Look, they're not able to go against you. Hell, what resources, what friends, what foundation, what money? So all that outcast, all of those, all of that outcast days, it's over when it comes to you and your ancestors. All right? Your ancestors, are not, it's like your bodyguard. Like, this for now on, since people want to play with you and, and your ancestors see your heart, right? They see your heart. Well, now you got a personal bodyguard. <laughs> Let me tell you, this bodyguard, this ancestor, this spirit of death, child, is with you at the club. Is with you at a party. Is with you on a date. Is with you traveling. All right, they not letting you out of their sight. <laughs> and that's what I see. Now, I'm getting, I'm getting an energy, your wish. <laughs> your wish to destroy shit is my command. All right, so you know we got good angels and we got angels that, that tear shit up for us. All right, so I'm getting, you done summon the motherfucking... A motherfucking Avenger angel that is saying um, your wish to destroy shit is my command. Say say one say a one time and it's happening. That's the type of bodyguard you got. <laughs> the spirit of death. Alright? Literally the spirit of endings. <laughs> All right, Spirit, give me one more card so we can start clarifying. I'm hearing, you know better, so you did better. All right, Shango. All right. Balance, justice. This is the justice card. All right. So you got powerful ancestors that is out here creating justice for you in situations that you was done wrong in. All right. This can manifest in you being terminated for the, from a job for the wrong reasons. This could be you going through some type of legal battle for the wrong reasons. This could be you suffering with some type of situations for the wrong reasons all right this is shango the energy that's gonna bring you back to balance all right back whole all right e even even this is the type of energy like if your reputation was tarnished or they they tried to make you an outcast in something that is being restored the, that's the energy of shango being bringing back balance restoration all right Also, if you was fighting a case 
If you was fighting a case like a legal battle by yourself, you you won a case. Even with a public defender is what I'm seeing. Okay? You won a case. You don't have to worry about hiring. It's your spirit guides is around you. All right, that deals with justice in the legal system. Shango deals with the legal system. He's like justice, the cosmic justice. All right, thank you, Spirit. You are receiving cosmic justice. All right, you been. I don't even think. I don't even think that was the issue. You been was gonna receive the cosmic cosmic justice, but your angels and your spirit gods cannot act on your behalf unless. You ask them to. That is the law in us having free will. They, the, the angels and the gods can't fuck shit up and you didn't tell them to. God gonna be like, what the fuck? But they wanted to. They were just waiting for your call. They were just waiting for you to just say one thing. One thing. Okay. You are receiving justice and you are being recognized. Like there's a shift in how people perceive you. It's a shift on it's a shift when it comes to your first contact with somebody. Maybe um, a lot of people didn't judge you for you on the first, on your first impression because they was already listening to other people trying to tarnish your name or something. So y'all didn't get off on a good foot already because somebody already was influenced. All right. So I feel like that is being brought back to justice. You are being recognized for who you truly are and not with this person or whoever made you out to be. Definitely justice in the legal system. All right. But just justice in life. You're no longer going to be the okay. Because now. The only reason why. These people try to make you feel like an outcast. Because they know. That you was vulnerable. They probably knew some of your weaknesses. All right. But when somebody understands the powerful gods. That they have in spirit. They are more. Less likely to depend on. On physical friends. On physical people. You no longer feel like an outcast if you go out to eat by yourself. You no longer feel like an outcast when motherfuckers don't invite you nowhere. nowhere. You actually feel like that protection was your motherfucking... I mean, that rejection was your motherfucking protection. I'm also getting that too. Like people were trying to go out, you know, create plans without you. That's all right. And treat you like an outcast. That's all right because you save money. You did something else and that was have your peace of mind. <laughs> okay. You had to learn that support, love, and protection ain't always going to be from who you think it is. And it's not always going to come in a form of what you're thinking. It's going to come through spirit. It might come through an animal. It might come through somebody just walking past and saying you beautiful or handsome and lighten your day. These, how, these are the ways that your spirit guides and your guardian angels connect with you through numbers. You might see a certain number and you look it up and it brighten your day. That is why you have to make sure your mind is right. Because if your mind all over the place, if the first thing you do is go on social media, if the first thing you do is not doing what you need to do, then how are you going to be mentally aware to even look out for these signs? How are you going to be connected to your intuition to actually feel to look a, a certain direction at that moment? So all of the times you were rejected and made out to be some sort of outcast, baby, that was God's protection. All right. Because your mind needed to be right for you to start being aware and use discernment around those people. 
that is now suffering major loss and crisis. Sir, give me more on Iku, please and thank you. The sun. They was waiting. They were waiting for you to say something. They were waiting for you to shed light on how you felt about a certain situation. Again, I don't eat, I can't make it clearer. Thank you for confirming, spirit. Your spirit guides and your guardian angels and God. Well, God, no, God could do whatever. But we that would take, you know, God is all about law too. If God does something. Well, we're not going to put God in it because God can do anything. But if your spirit guides act on something without you asking or actually expressing how you feel so that way they can make the judgment call, right, and take it up to God, they would never, nothing would never get done. A closed mouth don't get fed. So, baby, as soon as you said, fuck it, I'm going to do something about this and I'm going to make sure it gets handled properly. And when I say properly, I mean properly, all right? When you expressed and opened up sun card to your spirit guides, Iku, about how you feel. And Iku could just be any spirit guide around you. But once you finally took away your ego, because a lot of the times, little do we know, we are so judgmental. Even when we are opening up and being honest to God. So, for instance, if you said you were, you was going to stop smoking, right? But then you know your ass going to smoke, right? But you know you love God so much and you told God that you was going to smoke. So, now you scared of God now. You scared to ask for something. You, you think your praise is not being heard because you, you smoked. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is you releasing that ego and being in a childlike state of mind when it came to you expressing your emotions about a certain situation that was causing you a lot of grief and, 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 and blockages. So as soon as you exposed the sun card, how you felt about this energy or people or what, the severity, it it, it took on your life. Oh baby. They was pissed. That's what you did. You exposed them. You exposed how you felt. You exposed. The truth. Without saving anybody's image. You spoke on. How you truly feel. And you didn't hold back. You let it all out. And you finally validated your feelings for once. And when you did that, baby, that was more than enough. I'm telling you what, you cool? That was more than enough for you needed to explain how you felt. It was just something you need to get off your chest. And for them to get action to do it. To do whatever that they did. Spirit, give me more on this tower, this village. This is not good. There can even be a lot of deaths that's taking place in this community. Like physically. Like every week type thing. I'm telling you, lovers call it. So what's going on here? Is that there's a lot of endings and tower moments and destruction when it comes to relationships in that community. I feel like somebody was targeting you in a relationship. Okay. I feel like you finally expressed to God how you felt. About somebody and how you was being treated behind your feelings towards somebody. Because this is love. You know what I'm saying? We can't help who we love. And what I see with this lover's card and this ace of cups. This is like soulmate type of energy. This is like falling in love at first sight. And you even don't even know why the fuck you love this person. <laughs> so I feel like you was just probably 
expressing how you was getting ridiculed or made out to be this this crazy person for honestly just loving somebody wholeheartedly. This is not fake love. This is not love with an attachment to something. This is like genuine love. So I feel like a lot of people targeted you because of the love you shared with somebody in a relationship. They might be, they might have been jealous. They might have just felt like you was taking this person away. It could have been a number of things, but people were targeting you because of the relationship you had with somebody. Ace of Cups, lover's card. But I promise you, <laughs> that will be the last time they will ever think to target somebody that was minding their fucking business in love. <laughs> okay? They should have left you the fucking outcast. <laughs> okay? But yeah, that's why the that's why the disasters is happening in these people love. Alright? That's why the endings is happening. Because they targeted you not because of something that you did. They just targeted you because of somebody you was in a relationship with. So they didn't even get a chance. They didn't even want to get a chance to know you. All right. And because your energy, you got to remember, you got a powerful energy. A lot of people can't take this light. A lot of people can't take this vibe. All right. So your energy, a lot of times triggered people when it came to them feeling threatened in some sort of way. Like that is your energy. Like you can't help your motherfucking energy. You can't help when you walk in a room, you light up the room. You can't help that. And I feel like that's what you did in this relationship. All right. You lit somebody the fuck up with love. All right. Literally, you lit this relationship up. But that, again, is just your vibe, your energy. These people was mad that you lit up the room with your soul. It was something that came from within. The Ace of Cups is your soul. All right, that's something that you was born with. These people try to hate on you for something that you was born with. And that was spark. That was magnetism. That was a personality. That was humor. That was uh, being attractive. Like uh, everything. You was born with everything. Okay? You, you was born to shine. It was, this is how it was set up for you. This is how your contract was set up when you chose to get here. You chose, you said, God... If 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 what I'm hearing about Earth is true, I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need to have in my contract love a spouse that loves me, and I need to have certain qualities about me that enhances my social status, so I can lead. All right. So yeah, you made sure you had a discussion with God. All right, before you signed up. Spirit, give me more. Did I? No battery. Oh, the village. All right. So, all right. So, yeah. That's why the, that's why the destruction is happening. So, what is this outcast spirit? Bitch, when I tell you you are on defense mode, nobody can get by you. All right? You like, I'm telling you, it's a certain arrogance you got. All right. Once you knew the power of who you was and how powerful your prayers are heard, bitch. <laughs> you like, what? What you said? Oh, oh. All right. You no longer letting people even come with the slightest amount of disrespect. All right. You nipping that in the butt immediately. Seven of wands. All right. You not letting nothing slide. The fuck is you talking about sliding? Slide your ass back into thinking what the fuck you was trying to do. All right. But nothing sliding over here. This is the energy. All right. You're not getting through me. My, I'm solidified in my position. This is what you're saying. You're going to have to move me. All right. You're going to have to move me. All right. And I'm going to arm me alone. This is your energy. Call me the outcast. Call me the quiet one. Call me whatever. But one thing you're not going to call me is pussy. <laughs> You hear me? That is the type of energy of this. All right? And it's a sense of spiritual protection. Once you know 
You know, like, we not dumb. Even to the comics. Don't let these comics fool you. The comics might be the most fucking smartest ones that they are fucking dumb. They so smart they dumb. All right? But you know when your prayers are working for protection. You know when your gods are around you. You know when you got a sense of protection around you when it comes to spiritual protection. And you know when you don't. So with this confidence that you have collectives and these two spirit gods. The confidence that you have in the new beginnings that you've been getting by yourself. That spirit showing you nobody stopped the show. That spirit showing you nobody stopped the show. Oh, they don't want to go with you to the party. Fine. Their energy wasn't needed. You're going to have a blast by yourself. Oh, they didn't want to go with you to the movies. Fine. I will fucking eat by myself. Oh, they didn't want you to invite. They didn't want to invite you to the party. Oh, so what? I will get comfortable and watch everything woke terror reader. <laughs> so like, what is the big deal? All right, this is the energy. What is the big deal? I'm an outcast, so what? I bet you you won't get past my shit, though. That's the energy. So, yeah, you're not playing. You know, leave these quiet people alone. Leave the quiet ones alone. Leave the people that you feel like you could play with alone. Because that'll be the shit that got you going through this. Spirit, um, what it, what it, what's up with this Shango energy? Y'all hear my voice. They don't want me to talk. <laughs> but trust me, I got some stuff whipping up for my voice. It's not that, Louis. All right. Shango is here to bring balance back to all your motherfucking opportunities. All right. That may have been altered because of other people influence. On your image about being an outcast. They, you know, look, I'm telling you, the three of cups, everything is gonna be a success. When I tell you the amount of opportunities and options that is headed your way, eight of wands, fast and swift, bitch, you're gonna you're gonna have to get like one day out of the week to like heal. <laughs> because I'm just seeing mad cups drinking success. Achievement and like just and just excitement, like it's something that cheers about, and that's the justice that Shango's bring. Also, I'm seeing with this three of cups energy, there may be people that may have listened to others in the past. All right, calling you this week to maybe apologize and to let you know that they was just confused about a certain situation or they they didn't see the bigger picture or the whole thing all right so people are coming back and like owning up to what happened whatever it happened all right so i hope this helps you guys i love you and now you know a closed mouth do not get fat baby all right and your shit is fed the fuck up <laughs> okay I love you guys and I hope that helps